So in this case, guys, we have a ship leaves port at 1 o'clock and sails in the direction <clears throat> of north 38 degrees west. So one thing that I've told you guys from the beginning is when you see like a, those directions, we need to go ahead and write our cardinal directions here. So if we have port, so I'm just going to put a dot here. All right, there's port. Now we're going north. They're sailing out north 38 degrees west. So I'm going to draw my compass heading north, east, south, west. So it's going north 38 degrees west. So north 38 degrees west. I don't know how far. Well, let's see, actually read how far. So they say at a rate of 24 miles per hour. OK, well, so that doesn't tell me really how far they went, just tell how fast they went. So I'll keep on reading and see if I can get more information. Then it says another ship leaves port at 1.30 and sails in the direction of north 52 degrees west. So north 52 degrees west. Right, so here's 38, and this one's going to be 52. Again, I'm just drawing these lines. I don't know actually how long they should be. I'm just kind of giving a rough sketch. Does that kind of make sense, though? At least the directions are there. I can always adjust my picture to make more sense. Um, and then directs to 52 degrees at a rate of 19 miles per hour. Okay. So at 2.30 PM, how far are they ships apart? Well, if I'm given a rate, I need to find the distance. So I need to understand how is, bless you, how is rate and distance related to each other? Well, remember, guys, distance equals rate times time. So now we just got to figure out if we have the rate and we need to find distance, that means we need to know the time. It doesn't say how long they were traveling, but it does say when they start and they ended, right? So we just need to calculate the time. So this, this one started at 1.30, and then we want to know at 2.30. Wait, sorry, this one left at 1, 2.30. So that's an hour and a half. So if it's traveling 24 hours per hour, and it goes for one hour, that's 24 miles. And then another half would be another 12, right? So this one's going to be 36. Yeah, miles. The next problem is traveling only at 19 miles per hour. But, um, and this one leaves at 1.30, so an hour later, so it only travels for an hour. So that's only going to be 19 miles, right? So to kind of make my picture look a little bit better, I'm going to kind of like shorten that a little bit, okay? And say that's going to be 19. So now we see we have a triangle, right? Now typically, if you guys remember, when we did these word problems, what did I say? Draw the picture, extract the triangle. I know some of you just rather do the work from the triangle, and that's fine. Sometimes, though, this gets a little messy. So I'm just going to redraw the triangle just so I can see it in a little bit better light. So here's 19, here's 36. I'm not going to use units. I'm just going to know my answer is going to be in units. I'm going to use units for my answer. Because again, how far are the ships apart? We're going to call that D. So I'm going to say D equals the distance the ships are apart, okay? Because otherwise, then I don't have to write a full sentence at the end, right? I already know what D represents. So all right, so I don't have D, but I have these two angles. Can I figure out what this angle is? Yeah. Well, you see, oh, if that's 38 and that's 52, then this angle is just going to be the difference. 52 minus 38 degrees is going to give me 14 degrees. And now I recognize I'm trying to find the distance, right, or a length of a triangle. I have side, angle, side. I don't have a ratio, so I can't use the law of sines, but I can use the law of cosines. So therefore, based on my formula, which doesn't have D in it, right, it's only A, B, and C, I need to make sense of the measurements I have. So I can say D squared is going to equal 19 squared plus 36 squared minus 2 times 19. Hmm. Let's put this a little bit lower so I have more room. So d squared equals 36 squared plus 19 squared minus 2 times 36 times 19 times the cosine of 14 degrees. And remember, guys, um, the rule order of operations is going to follow with us. 
So therefore, we don't need to worry about talking to the person next to us. And we can just type this right into our calculator. <coughs> And I get 328. Does that make sense in the kind of context of the problem? Well, no, it doesn't really make that much sense. If you only travel 36 miles and you travel 19 miles, they shouldn't be 329 degrees apart or 329 miles apart from each other. Agreed? Right. I didn't take the square root, but I can't. I cannot tell you how many times people are talking when they're supposed to be listening and they miss this point because it's really important. People go ahead and solve a math problem and they're so happy that they just go ahead and write it down and they don't ask themselves the question, did I answer what the question was? And the question is no, you didn't answer the question. Like this is not, this is, this is the distance apart. No, it doesn't make any sense, right? And again, yes, d squared equals this. So now you have to square root it and you say, oh, okay, 18.156 rounded and then miles is different than centimeters, so I need to make sure I apply my unit, right? So please, guys, it's not about solving a math problem. Make sure your answer, make, make sure you're, one, answer, solving the right problem, right? You could, you could find, couldn't you find the missing angles in this too? Yeah, it's not asking that, okay? So make sure you're answering the, couldn't you find like, I don't know, I guess. Like, couldn't you find like how far north it went? I mean, there's so many things you guys could do. Make sure you're answering the question, all right? Make sure your answer makes sense. And then make sure you apply the correct unit, all right? Not sure if I'm 100% sure you guys are following this. So let's do another one. Yes. Say what? I mean, that's, I would, it really is dependent on the work that you showed. Um, I just drew the figure out. Yeah, and that's fine. Um, 